Good morning. I'm here with Bishop Brandy McFarland, Mrs. Maxine Swazer, and Mrs. Linda James. And we are talking about the Let's Give Thanks Luncheon coming to you November 21st. All right, so Bishop, tell me a little bit about this luncheon. Well, the North Louisiana Baptist Association that's composed of 23 churches, um, during my annual message this year, God gave me a vision to move forward of trying to feed those that's less fortunate this Thanksgiving. And so I appointed these two ladies here, the chair of the committee, Mrs. Swayze and Mrs. James, and they did an outstanding job of making this happen for us. And so on Wednesday, we'll be uh, out trying to serve at least 300 that's less fortunate. Thank you. So, Miss Maxine, tell me a little bit about what went into the planning, what type of food you guys are going to have serving uh, for, for these people. Well, we're going to have the routine Thanksgiving dinner, you know, we're going to have uh, a dressing, turkey, ham, chicken, and then we're going to have the, uh, the uh, vegetables, and we're going to have the corn, we're going to have candy yams, and we have dream string beans. And uh, we, we said we want homemade pound cakes. Okay. <laughs> you know, everybody was saying, what? <laughs> homemade? We said, yeah, we want some scratch. And we're going to serve sweet potato pies. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we're going to serve it until they go out. And we got a lot of it. And we want to be able to help those that won't have anything for Thanksgiving. Hopefully, we have enough to fix my plate to take with them. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. No shortage on food, really giving them the top tier of Thanksgiving, no shortcuts. No shortcuts. Something to be thankful for. So, Miss James, tell me a little bit about who's welcome. Obviously, you know, it's for people in need, but how do they get in contact to be able to attend this event? All the, all the churches that are in the association uh, assign a, a certain amount of arm, armbands, and they have to have the armband on to get in. But in, and, um, so those people um, are the ones that are going to get in. Then we also have those people that don't have armbands that, that may show up. We'll put armband on them, and then they'll be also served also until the food is all gone. We're going to serve as many people as the food uh, is allowed. Awesome. So you tell me that there's multiple churches involved. What churches can people go to, or what churches are involved in, in this? Well, go on, Bishop. Well, some of the churches, is, such as my church, the Greater Free Gift Baptist Church on 165 South, we have the Tried Stone Baptist Church in Monroe, uh, Zion Spring Baptist Church, uh, Solomon Temple Baptist Church. Uh, we have St. James Baptist Church of Sterlington, that's a part of our district. The Mount Zion Baptist Church of Dale High, Louisiana, that's pastored by the Reverend Anthony Geis. And uh, we, we have just a multitude. Even here in, in West Monroe, we have... Uh, Olive Branch Baptist Church, pastored by uh, Reverend Michael Thompson. We have the new daughter of Zion Baptist Church, uh, Mount Gilead Baptist Church of West Monroe. Mm -hmm. So we have a multitude of churches, but we'll be glad to provide you with that list of churches where those that desire to come to this event, they can come and have a wonderful Thanksgiving meal free of charge. Amen. All right, so you heard it here first. Free admission, top tier Thanksgiving food, a whole bunch of love. Churches across, you know, the Twin Cities, mm -hmm. so there's really no reason for anybody to go hungry. What a great event. Thank you. I wish you guys great success. Thanks Thank for coming. You. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you so much. No Thank problem. You. And, of course, for more information, head over to MarthaLemis.com.